Hello, I'm Ed Trillisim and welcome back to Planet Zoo, where apparently people really, really love... What is this? Umbrellas? Info store? Yeah, you sell umbrellas. They're, they're selling umbrellas. They're doing a really good job of it. Uh, we need to rain more often. And also balloons. Good combo. We should maybe make more space. They really need somewhere to, like, queue. There we go. And snow! Sweet! Snow Leopard's gonna be happy. Oh, you know, just where they are normally. Uh, what's the problem? Ooh, vet research is done! This is one of the things about the game that I'm not particularly happy with. It's like, you did research! I'm like, great, what did I get? No, you did research. Now we're doing more research. Like, okay, what did I get? No. You have to click in here to find out what you got, and even then it doesn't tell you. It's like, you got three things. I'm like, okay. Uh, whatever this is. And this. Uh, and that. I think this is better quality food. And this is a toy? I actually don't know what this is. Either way, we're gonna mess around with that. Seriously. Some of this game is... I do really like the game, but some of it is like, why the hell did you make it like that? Here we go. A rubbing pad. Put that over here. And then... If we select the habitat, we should be able to change the food quality. There we go. Now I've got grade 2 food, so we can change it up to grade 2. Not that they've had any food, because the keepers don't bring the damn stuff. Uh, keeper, food, 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 staff, there we go. So, the vendors are almost overworked. The vets are high workload and efficient workload. Low workload. Low workload. You're just doing crazy amounts of workload. I'm going to give you a performance buff, because I can, apparently. Right. People seem a lot more interested in, like, the stuff we're selling than the actual snow leopards. Out of curiosity, what are your thoughts right now? Education. Really low. I didn't come here to see the SAF facilities. I mean, that's what people seem to be going for, though. What about you? The facility buildings are ruining my experience of the zoo. Oh, right, these. Yeah, okay. I mentioned that in episode one. People don't like seeing them. It might be this one because it's so close. These might be just far enough out of the way. Uh, we'll have to do something about that. In the meantime, before we bother doing anything about that... We're going to get ourselves another species. And we're going to probably go for something that we can fit in. And I think that's a... Damn it! When I started the episode, tortoises were available. It was going to be tortoises. Now we've got two female tortoises. I'm like, okay, where, where are the other tortoises? You know, a male tortoise? One male, three female tortoises is a really good combination, apparently. But no. Uh, we could go for the bison. There's a very nice specimen here. Admittedly, it does cost 56 conservation credits. Um, but I'd rather have a bigger area for the bison. So I think what we'll do is we'll probably just buy one tortoise at the moment. Now. Uh, it is... You. The Aldebra Giant Tortoise. It needs 230 square meters. That's fine. It needs a bit of heat. So I might actually have to put a heater in. Guests can enter the habitat. And one male up to three females. So that's our problem. Guests can enter the habitat. I guess we could just have an area where guests just walk inside and be like, Hey, Tortoise. 
Maybe we'll just hold on to that for the moment. Like, we'll just leave you in the trade center. Go for something else. There's a lot of bison. There's a lot of bison. And there's wildebeest. Bears. Pea. I want to. Maybe the pea fowls. Three twelve. You might be able to fit in. Guests can enter the habitat as well. Four males, sixteen females. Wow. Okay, like we could have a lot of those. Probably don't have the space for that. If we're gonna have that many of them. Um Or do they just like being super packed? Again, they can be like together in the same area, so. I'm gonna have guests go in. I don't want to put in, like, macaques. I want to try and avoid apes and monkeys at the moment. Uh, Nyala, antelope. I think they can probably go together. Crocodiles, no. Timberwolves way too big. Uh, we only can have one gridler, and even then we can't afford it. They're really endangered, so they're very expensive to get. And you can't even buy them on the open market. They have to be conservation credits. Uh, I think we might just go bison. I think bison I surprisingly don't need a large area. They need 420. One male up to 14 females. Oh, okay. Um, no guests, so yeah, we can put you in here. Uh, oh, what did you need in the way of barrier? Grade 3. That's it. Excellent. Don't need to worry about being clamble or anything. Uh, grade 3 wooden logs will do. Glass would not. So... I think what we'll probably do... Reduce the length. A bit longer. There we go. And then over here. Reduce that. Now, I wonder how big this area is. We'll find out when we put a wooden habitat gate in it. Can I put it there? Oh, God, it would actually delete the... Uh... Well, that would not work. Right there. How big is this habitat? Almost 500. That seems to be perfect, right? Zoopedia. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, probably need to give you a little bit of heat, because right now it is negative three, and you want it to be between zero and 40. Like, you're pretty tolerant, but minus three is too much. Okay. Let's get ourselves some bison. Any species? Nope. Uh, we would like it to be American Bison. Hi there, American Bison. We could grab some like really good like breeding specimens for conservation credits, but I kind of want to hold on to the conservation credits. I want to save them up for something really valuable. Look at this specimen, though. Ooh. She's a beast. Your fertility is terrible. No. You're good apart from the longevity. I kind of like you. We're going to go with you. 
You are bronze, so. Uh, then we'll want to go... Female Bison. Your immunity's terrible. We don't want fertility. Come on. Well, you know what? We'll adopt you. And you. Need quite a lot of them. Uh, you. I don't want terrible longevity. Or fertility. And you. And maybe like one more. You know what? Nope. That's it. Uh, not the tortoise. Don't want to put the tortoise in with them. Now, they might find this a bit too tight. If that is the case, we can always do some relocating. We'll make those glass. And while that is happening, and they're moving them over. Donation box. Uh, one of the most annoying things that's still in this game after Planet Coaster is, hey, you're on a slight incline, you cannot place something. Like, this is a donation box and I can't place it. Like, I can't place a bin on a slight incline. Yeah. I'd flatten the area, put like a little concrete slab in, but no, you can't do that. And in this scenario, I don't have access to the train editor, so I can't, I can't put any donation bins in up here. That's it. Like, we just cannot make money here. That's it. And obviously, the donation bin is like the main way you make money. Incredibly frustrating. Uh, they have actually just delivered one of them, so I'm going to try and see. I saw it pop colored for a moment. When it pops colored, that is where we can actually place it. Really? Okay, well, I'm giving up on that. And there's a whole load of bison. Right, they're happy with hard shelter. The terrain, not perfect. Yeah, they don't like snow. Plant, cleveric, plant coverage, none. They're great with that. Uh, and they are... Not perfect with the area. I think that's because there's extra of them, and because there's extra, they want more space. That means they aren't going to be suited for this enclosure. We'll have to change that. We can make a new enclosure if we need to. For now, they'll they'll do. Um, I won't bother putting a heater in if we're going to end up changing that. Hi there. Yeah, we've got two more coming. I wonder what happens when the next two come if that required space is going to shoot up. Yeah, they barely fit in here, these snow leopards, because there's two of them now. Can't bring me the other bison. Here we go. You're injured. Of course you're injured. There we go. The land area is shot up. We're going to need uh, somewhere in the region of a thousand for them. They're not going to fit in here. And annoyingly, it's, you know, depths of September. Minus five degrees. Urgh. We could just give them like a big enclosure here. I think that's probably what we'll do. All right, barrier. At least we'll be able to monetize this one. Uh, 
Um, this end probably doesn't need to be transparent, so I'm going to toggle that off. Or I could not. I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. That makes lots of sense. Uh, let's try that again. Probably with a little less distance. Derp. Right, there we go. Panel too long. Okay, what about now? There we go. And I think we will select you, turn you into a piece of glass. Stop you being a piece of glass. And we could also probably run like a bridge over it so people could see them like from directly above. Be like, ooh, pretty and stuff like that. For now, that'll have to do. Uh, we'll also need a way to get people in. So I think a habitat gate here is probably our best bet. Path. This is going to be a staff path. Step path. There we go. Um, that still doesn't look right. That looks. Somewhat better. We'll go with that. And then... Box all animals. And then you... 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 Move... Here. We'll also be changing their names in a moment as well. Uh, that should be big enough for them, I think. Yeah, that should definitely be big enough. Right. Now, habitat stuff for a... Tickets are underpriced? Yeah, we can deal with that. American Bison. So, we will definitely need a heater. We already know that. We'll put one in for the moment. We might need bigger. Water trough. I think this water here should be okay. Um, we've got a large food trough going as well. And then... Habitat bedding. I don't think they'll need a hard shelter. And you're injured. We'll call it back to you. Of course you came here injured. Yeah, plenty of space. Almost 1,200. The snow is not good. Right, you have no power. We're going to get you up to like a 5 degree. Max that range out. Now we're going to have to get you power. So one of the other things that we need here is... Utilities! So, we need a transformer. Not the fun kind, but the uh, energy kind. I don't know why I did the sound effect. It's not like you don't know what a transformer is. Maybe you don't. I don't know. I don't own you. Place it here. And then water treatment. Yeah, we need a water treatment plant to be able to purify this water enough that we can use it. So, I'm actually going to put you right next to it. And then we can go path. Align to grid. That wasn't good enough. Deselect grid. Okay. Oh, 
Try it again. Come on. Give me something here, game. The game is really bad. At, like, I just want to place a dot, right? I have to come all the way over here. Yeah. Like, how do I just get to place a dot? Because then I can go from that dot to here, but it won't let me. That's the one. And then, can we get these to connect in any way? That looks like... Ah, oh, it's so close to being able to connect. There we go. Oh, it's such a chore sometimes with these. Uh... Can we do that one over here? There we go. This is a little better. It'll do. Okay. Heater. Increasing temperature. Oh. Injured and a disease. God damn it. Okay, how are you feeling about this? Hard shelter good, terrain good. Everything else down here is pretty good. Had a population of one they don't like. That's because the other ones are still being transferred. Okay, and our tickets are underpriced. Ah, gotcha. Don't worry. I'm gonna bring the ticket price up to five dollars for everyone. Hey there. Stand next to the heater. I feel you. Oh, we finally got food over here! This is the type 2 food, whatever it's called. The the tier 2 food. You just get a giant rib cage. Nice. And in theory... Interspecies bonus. Okay, so we can get like a bonus from putting other species in with the bison. Which obviously we haven't got right now because we just got bison. Uh, we're going to put in the all important donation boxes. And then. Education, education, education. Now, the issue we're going to have over here, like I said earlier, is the fact that's going to clip with this. So we're actually going to have to start playing around with you. For instance, if we put you there, decrease the volume like that, and then dupe. Snow leopards, and then... Hey. 
Have we got protesters? <gasps> We've got protesters. We're going to go look at those protesters in a moment. Uh, firstly... Gotta get this right. Yeah. There we go. That should give mostly coverage. Uh, right. Then we can also duplicate over here. American Bison. By default, it selects the one that's closest, which is pretty handy. And then we can also dupe that again. And then here's the fun one. I want to put one in this gap. Which means if we place it there. I guess we can go to like four. Go to three. Sometimes the UI isn't particularly responsive in this game. Like I've clicked move like a dozen times there and it hasn't done anything. And then move you up to like there. That should do the job. Uh, I know we've got a bit here as well that we could probably do one. Uh, we'll do it, why not? There we go. I think we will duplicate one up here. Now, even if this does have double coverage here, there's no guess actually in this area, right? That's just bison. So it doesn't matter if it overlaps. We will, however, need to get ourselves some TVs. Because everyone needs TVs. Free rotate. There we go. Bison. 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 And then I think we'll do one more over here. Bison. And then we can call this uh, Bison. Habitat. Oh, and we have some bison poop already. Yeah. See, this game's so realistic, you have to deal with poop. Right, still underpriced? We'll up the price of that to $6 then. Now what I do want to do is put like a flying walkway over some of these at some point. I also actually want to see, who do you, like, who do you live with? Zoopedia. Antelope. Pronghorn. Ant Can we buy pronghorn antelope? Pronghorn antelope. Uh, I need to sort this by species. That would help. Right, there we go. Sable antelope. No, we don't have pronghorn antelope. Damn. Okay, wildebeest, what about you? Have you got anyone you can go with? Uh, oh god, yeah, sable antelope. Plain zebra, springbok. Some of these we can definitely buy. That would be a much bigger enclosure.
Okay. Um. Oh! That gives us a breeding pair of tortoises. Yes. And guests can enter the enclosure. So I think what we'll do is we'll put them in here. And then... Habitat, barrier. Guest gate. Why was that blue for a second and then just changed? Obstructed, okay. What's blue? Oh, when I put it in the center, okay. Yeah, okay, I, I guess we're not meant to do it like that. Like, I guess we could... Oh, we could put habitat over here, right? Right, yeah, yeah. So if we put, like, a glass front here, and then allowed people to walk in, and then made, like, an entrance out the side as well or something... Why isn't that allowing me to place? That's bizarre. Okay, you know what? We can just place it as wood if need be. Don't angle snap. It's a very bad habit. Probably want to switch to wood logs here. Go for a little less on length. There we go. And then we put another guest gate in. We'll just remove this wall for now. We'll just put the guest gate in and work around it. Guest gate. Um, guest gate. There we go. Can we... Can't increase the height anyway. No. Okay. Now, before we go anywhere, is this path going to work? Potentially. No. Okay. It got close, you know. That's all you can ask. God damn it. Again. Guess gate. Come on. Right, there we go. Increase the length a bit. Um, and I don't know why it wants to do that. That's just annoying. Let's decrease the length a bit.
and hopefully they'll be happy in here? I think we still need a habitat gate for some reason. Yeah, now it collects it as like an entire thing. Um, how big is the area? Big enough for two tortoises, probably. Animal, view animal. Bring me my tortoises. I can also mass change names. Okay, mass changing time. Melody. McBride. Then names of the bisons. Madman. Lawless. Wary Wolf. Hey, Wary Wolf. Farlin. And finally, 40 packs. Right, you two. Okay, we'll up the price to like $8 then, and then children of $7. Why is your welfare low? Social. Stress. Ah, uh, you're being uh, watched way too much. Yeah, what we can do then is we will make this not glass on that side. Yeah, that seems to be much better. Awesome. Okay. And there we go. We've got bronze. Wow. Looks like we already have a zoo, don't we? <laughs> that was fast. You're doing me proud, you know. I'll be honest. When I first pictured entrusting someone else to build a zoo, I always imagined it'd be my child doing it. I, I guess it wasn't to be, huh? Unless... I don't suppose you're open to being adopted, are you? <laughs> oh, oh, almost forgot. Now you've completed your first lot of jobs, or... Bronze objectives as Nancy Okay, to keep say. going. You can, if you wish, move on to the next zoo. Obviously, I'd prefer that you stayed on here and took care of the rest of those objectives. But I can certainly understand the desire to keep moving onwards and upwards, just like an escalator or a, a downwards escalator, uh, which is uh, going the wrong way. Okay. <laughs> We're going to just have a look at some species right now. Uh... Giant tortoise. And then... You know what? We'll give him a bigger one. Why not we'll splash out? Give him some habitat bedding. Uh, give them a medium food trough. Then probably only need a small food trough, really. And then a water pipe. There we go. And then they're probably going to be complaining about the heat, right? Hard shelter, they're happy now. They're really pleased about, like, the amount of space. They've got double what they need. More than that. They really don't like the bushes we have here. They're like, that's strange. I don't know what that thing is. It's not from where I am. Not, I don't live in... What is this? What's that? Uh, what about temperature? They're actually okay with it. I thought they weren't. Huh. 
Let's look at your Zoopedia article. 16. Yeah, you actually don't like this temperature. I don't know what it is now, but you're actually pretending you have the temperature fine. People on that, like, road there are going to be very confused. Like... The poor tortoises! Who's standing on them? Oh, there are no toilets in the zoo. Oh, sorry about that. Quickly, get them for some facilities! Please don't poop on the tortoise. Uh, we'll also want to delete, delete, delete. Was there any other plants that they were complaining about? Might just be it. Come on. Come here, tortoise. I'm never going to be able to select that tortoise. Hi. How are you doing? Just wanna just wanna select you. I wanna know all about you. <laughs> I just wanna select you. I suppose the view is fine. Mate, you're standing right next to the damn thing. Oh, thank God. Yeah, they're okay with also having no plants as well. Uh, tropical Africa. Right. Now, here's one of my massive pet peeves about this game. If I go filter, continent, Africa, biome, tropical, note what we get. Uh, let me see if I can find a perfect example. Or maybe it doesn't work on this one. Okay, let's let's try if we were say looking for Hmm. Okay, tell a lie. Maybe it's working now. Put a little bit of greenery in here. I know that should be like in water. That yeah, that, that, that looks down that water. get. Yeah, get like a nice tree fern in there. Maybe get some fern there. How are you feeling about that? You like it? That does not fit. Not from the same continent. See? It showed up when I had Africa selected, but it's like, no, it's not from the same continent. Well, why did you show up then? Uh, and of course, because people love that view so much. Here's a donation box. Thank you for your generosity. Um, I think we'll also probably not want people, like, dumping their waste in there. 
so there we go. Also, you know, the tortoises, you know, you should feel about resting, taking some advice, like slowing down. So we'll chuck those in as well. Uh, we'll also want info, of course. So we'll get like an info thing and just chuck it in the middle of the street. Why not? Ooh, slight overlap there. And then duplicate it. And of course, we'll need some info displays. That's poor tortoises. You'd think they'd be like, oh my god, I'm overly stressed. They seem really chill. Take some advice from the tortoises at some stage. Just, just be chill. Now, this will eventually go somewhere. It's effectively going to meet up at the same bit that comes up here from there. I think they're too far away from this side for people to really want to watch. Oh, hello. Have you got overly stressed? Social... Stress. Yep. Oh, apparently they've got far enough away that that counts. Really? Good job. Yeah, they've de-stressed, apparently. Wow. I always thought of them as, like, introverted, but I guess they're kind of an extroverts. Oh, did your stress just completely reset? Yeah, your stress keeps going back up. I think we'll move that. We're going to have to make a way for them to, like, get out of the view of everyone. We could just chuck a barret in, but I'm wondering if we could actually construct something. Um, like, what is this made from? Could we just duplicate whatever that is? When they get overly stressed, they can just go in here and hide. Does that work? No, that doesn't seem to work. I guess we're going to have to do some damage to this path, which is annoying. Um, can we close this gate in any way? No, we just have to delete the path.
Try again. Right. That should get it a bit further away. I don't know if it's going to be enough. Maybe it is. They seem better off now. Oh, that research is complete. Level two snow leopards. We got more education bonus when talking about them. We got a toy and whatever that is again. Okay, what can we build now for the snow leopards? Species. Scroll down. Snow leopard. We can build a carbon box, really? It took us technology to figure out, oh my god, we give a carbon box to them and they'll love it. Truly the smartest minds of a generation. So if that's far enough away, then that's perfect. People are definitely having issues here pathing. They're like, I want to go see the tortoise. Oh, no, I can't turn back now. Um, we should probably connect these up. Okay. Uh, I think what we'll probably want to do here is bring it up the outside so that potentially we could put something here. So, stop aligning to grid. Get anything there? Right, well that'll do. Um, then you are less wide. Okay, connect there. And now people can flow both ways. Awesome. Uh, 40 packs expecting offspring? Good job! I didn't think you were going to get it on quite so quick. Yeah, people have issues with the view, and I can't really blame them. They're trying to view the buffalo from all the way over there. And it's a square enclosure. Square enclosures are terrible, because it means that you can have, like, buffalo in the middle that are pretty far from everywhere, whereas if you go for, like, a really long, narrow enclosure, generally better. I mean, they do have the issue of, hey, I get stressed because I can't get escape from people, but you can always just make like one tiny end of it fine. People really like the tortoises. Also, we'll have to move some of those at some stage. People kind of, yeah. Home time, time's up. Balloon's great. Sue's great. People seem to love it so far. Hmm. Awesome. In which case, before we go, let's do a poster, a cereal box, and a newspaper campaign. Yeah.
And there we go. I've got almost four star marketing. And a snow leopard's expecting offspring. <gasps> it's gonna be babies soon. Have you been touching butts? You've been touching butts, haven't you? Cool. In which case... It's gonna wait for the sun to rise. So I can get a good screenshot of the buffalo. You just keep getting up and sitting down. I'm visiting my own park. How interesting. Melody, have you got stressed again? I know you you walked on the path, Melody. Oh. More snow leopard. We got, I think it's more breeding, a food dispenser, and another toy. I was going to call it for this episode, but I'm, I want to finish that now. It's a frozen blood pumpkin. And... Is that a food dispenser and a toy, I guess, maybe? You know what? Sure, we'll give them that as well. You deserve it. Melody, make it to safety. There we go. You're getting unstressed. Keep, keep going, Melody. Keep going. You need to walk away from the people, Melody. Oh, are they gonna? They're gonna get it on. It'd be very stressful getting it on. Ah! Oh, hello. Uh, oh, you're about to have offspring. Now's not the time. It's nighttime. I want it to be daytime so I can get screenshots and it look pretty. Wait, what? Did you have the? Oh, did you have a cub while I wasn't looking? Oh my god. Oh my god, look at that appeal. You're so cute. <gasps> you're so cute. We're gonna name you. And you're gonna be... Chaos Chest. It's a strong name. Huh? Hey, you. Oh, So cute. Well, it looks like next episode is going to be, like, the episode of babies. Come on, get the sun to rise. There we go. Da-da! <gasps> Mommy! Daddy! Look at how incredibly cute that is. I need to just turn down the speed. Um, wait. Come back. Why'd it go dark again? What's, what else has happened? Thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. Why, why are you thirsty? There's water here. Like, there's literally water right here. You know what? I'm just going to give them a... Oh, no. They need a trough. They can't take that. Species. American bison. Too stupid to drink from the river. Um, I'll put it here so that it's close to that. Why are you so thirsty? Of 
question I ask myself all the time. Your hydration's like 4%. And you're laying down. What is your issue? Uh, oh, the inspector spotted a protester. Oh no, I should have dealt with protesters. What's, what's wrong with this water here? You were tr severely dehydrated. Can I just call the, the vet on you? What? What is the issue? Like, there's no food. Sure, I understand that. Like... Oh, hello. How did I just get that? I'm paused. Uh, what do we get? We got a toy, and ooh, awesome food quality. Gonna give you awesome food quality, you deserve it. Sorry, getting distracted with uh, the cute little snow leopards, but snow leopards are so cute. Snow leopard. Scratching post. Really? It took you that much research to realize that cats like scratching posts. Why are you all so thirsty? Uh, maybe it's the issue of like the steepness or something. What we can do... Is I think... We can put calm water in. Can we not? Can't put water in. I don't know what's wrong with you. Oh, hello. Are you new? No, you're not. Thirsty. Why are you so thirsty? I've got no idea what's going on. Must have built something too close to you and you got unboxed or something. Um, okay. Are you going to do anything about that? All right, keepers. One, two, three, four. The vendors are all overloaded. We could do another vet. I'll have to. Anyone else? Oh, keeps running in here. And are they going to do anything? They have turned away. Oh. Are you actually going to get water? Please. Please tell me you're going to get the water. Also, that's a really good picture. Even if you are going to die from it. No, you pooped. Okay, can you just get the water now? You just, you just did a poop. Can you do a water? Yeah, no? No, you're, you're walking away. You walked away from the water. Oi. 
Where are the protesters? They're protesting the fact that my animals have low welfare. That's fair, actually. I, I don't feel that I need to... And you're about to have offspring. Can you just get some water? Please. Please get... Oh, the keeper needs to do the water. That's why... A keeper hasn't done the water, just like a keeper hasn't done the food trough. This is all obstructed. Can I move this? Move the food trough to there. And in theory, a keeper should deal with this. In practice, probably not. Because they haven't even filled up the damn food thing. ATM broke down. Okay. Cool. I, uh, I, ju I just, I just want you to, just want you to be healed. Just want you to be healed. Anyway, we're gonna call it here for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you have, like. Subscribe, etc. Can you maybe you just can't make it across to the the bison? Oh, oh, oh! Oh, thank God! Right, there is water now available. Oh, and we have a little little bison. Wow, you look very different. Are you learning to swim? Oh my god, he's learning to swim! Uh, now you're, you're going through the water to get to the water. You're going through the water to get to the water. Do you, do you see a problem with this? <gasps> Look how cute it is! So cute. Oh, hello, little bison. You've stuck your face through the terrain. That's a bit weird. Right, I've been Uh Like, subscribe, until next time when we deal with all the babies. Thank you for watching. Leave me the feedback down below. Let me know if you want me to play more. And stay shiny.